Well, 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 what's happened to all that lovely weather we were having? It's, it's not lovely today. In fact, it is cold. I've got a jumper on. <laughs> I'm starting the vlog very, very, very late this afternoon. It's gone one already. We woke up, we heard the rain, and we thought, oh, do we really want breakfast? And then knocked on Isabel's door and asked her if she wanted to go for breakfast. She said, oh, she wanted to go back to bed. So we all went back to bed, and we had a really, really, really luscious, luxurious lie-in, and we listened to the rain hammering down here. <laughs> but we are going to go and have lunch shortly. Hey, this is different. We got placemats today. I'm randomly starting with some melon today. We've got some coke as well. Bit of lunch, just got a little bit of pasta and cheese and some salad. It's half past two. We finally got ourselves out of the hotel. So we're going to walk to the Sea Museum, which is right by the sea. And it opens at three. So we should be bang on time to get straight in. These are rather beautiful, aren't they? Oh, very succulent and firm stem there. <laughs> oh, anyway, look, we've just arrived by the seafront. These flowers are rather nice as well. Yeah, there's lots of little splashes of colour. Ah, oh, now my favourite all time, my favourite all time flowers. These are the Strelitzia. Hello, bird of paradise. You can see why, can't you? It hasn't rained on us yet. It literally just stopped as we were setting foot out of the door. Everybody was smoking outside the hotel because it had been raining. They were all crowded around the entrance under the porchy bit. Oh, has <laughs> it golfed? That's the first time that's happened. It's a lot quieter here on this oh, rainy day. I just had a great big drip come down and get me on my eyebrow. Well, the outside tables are deserted. It's crowded in there, though. Not that one. I just got two massive drips on my head. I wonder if you can see it. It's like, <laughs> it's very unexpected. Oh dear, the rain's starting. You can see it appearing in the puddles. Look at that sky. Oh, oh toilet there, didn't notice. I can hear the sound of the sea crashing on the shore again. It just instantly soothes me. I love the sound of it. Oh, that's a nice, well, it's a bit rusty now, but nice gate. <laughs> it's kind of spiky at the top, I suppose. It's to stop you climbing over it, really, but it looks very decorative. This is funny, isn't it? We were remarking on this the other day, this finish here. I presume there was a building there that was knocked down and then there was an exposed bit with no render. Oh, it's like, expanding foam or something, look. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Well, that's odd, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we're here. Bad luck today, we missed it yesterday. It's opening in 20 minutes. We got down quicker than we expected to. Oh, so we're gonna have a little look at the waves. I was picking up some sea glass yesterday. I didn't vlog that bit because I've got a friend who makes craft objects that she sells and she uses sea glass. And I found lately, it seems to be awfully difficult to find, but I got some big, great big chunks of it yesterday. Oh, it's all wet today. This is very coarse. It's like tiny, teeny pebbles. Like it's not fine sand on this beach. It's not a usual sort of classic sandy beach beach with fine sand. It's so turquoisey. First couple of bits of sea glass. <laughs> That Isabel has just found. Uh oh, somebody is going to be absolutely gutted. It's completely dead, soaking wet. It was in the sand, just found it. Don't know quite what to do about that. We're in the museum. We've got audio guides on our phones and we're using the Wi Fi to listen to it. It's very nice. I handed the phone in 
at reception and she's, uh, I think she's getting it charging and she said she'll ring the police to report that they got it. Good. Beautiful staircase, isn't it? I've been directed to go into the room on the left. Choose that one. So I suppose I hope to do it in the right order. Oh, loads of models of ships in this one. I suppose that's not much of a surprise for a maritime museum. Thanks to the sea, we had enough to eat back when fishing was our only source of livelihood. We've come out onto the terrace now and it's quite a nice view of the seafront from up here, look. See all the little seating areas for the restaurants. I'm supposed to be listening to an audio tour. <laughs> oh, there's some great big bits of sea glass. Ooh, hello. <laughs> These placards are here are telling a story in sequence and they're accompanied with these animations here on the screen. Sorry about the flashing, it's to do with the frame rate. Some old tools. But I'm going up the stairs again now. It's a reproduction of a shipyard. Look at those old tools then. I don't know what year this is from. It's a funny little museum because it's all little rooms. Going on to the next one now. Every so often in this room, there's a great big bang and it's that, that kind of lights up, it's mimicking lightning and uh, the first time it did it, front the living daylights at me. Anyway, we're on to the next bit now. I suppose that's meant to be cotton, that was one of the cargoes. It's all about trading vessels basically, carrying cargo around to different places. Now, oh, there's that lightning I was uh, telling you about. <laughs> Looks a bit out of place next to the lift, doesn't it? I'm really impressed by this chair. It's very eye-catching, isn't it? Incredibly detailed. It's always a little bit broken by there. Can you imagine making something like that? It's taken ages. I'd be scared to sit on it in case I broke it. As it happens, they've got lots of these do not sit signs. We've got lots more model ships in this one. Heading down the stairs now. Oh, more pretty stairs. It's still raining out there. It's a bit mucky, but there's a dress. I think it's a wedding dress. Made in 1907. And there it is being worn in 1949. In this display cabinet here, they've got some lace, like work in progress lace. Look how intricate it was. All these pins there and hanging down here, all these different, what, what do you call those, spindles? Of all the different threads. It's got in a bit of a tangle, but very interesting. I think we're about done with the museum now. I've got a sneaky feeling we might be ready for a coffee in a cafe. Above you, we're out. It's still raining and um, when I got to reception, the lady who I'd handed the phone into said, the lady whose phone it is is here. She'd managed to get it charged and the woman had rung it, I think, and she'd managed to answer it. And so she's found it and she came and collected it. And she came in to thank me, which was really nice. Ah, oh, so happy ending for that. We're going definitely going to go find a cafe and have coffee and cake. I think that would be a very nice way to spend some time. Ooh, we found a cafe. Ooh. Time to get excited. Oh. Oh. I bet Izzy has one of those donuts. There's a hot chocolate machine there, look. Or is it cold chocolate? I had a very nice uh, croissant the other day that had custard inside. I wasn't that expecting was, it, it was delish. Was I went for one of these. Oh, it looks so creamy and good. And look what the guys are having. One of these each. And we've got coffee, of course. Oh, it's uh, firmer than I was expecting. We're back out in the rain again. Look where we are by that amazing looking church that looks absolutely amazing on the outside. Ah, um, well, there's not much left of our holiday now. We're just having a little wander around with our umbrellas. Izzy wants to buy a couple of rings for her friends. She's got some specific ones in mind from a specific shop. 
and uh, other than that I think it's going to be a case of uh, go back to the hotel room organize the cases get packing ready for the off tomorrow I fancy a long hot soak in the bath actually all that traipsing around in the rain with the chilly wind has made me fancy that that's the cafe that we were in a couple of times this week it's very nice in there bit windy I'm getting the lift <laughs> glasses are steaming up now aren't they where's Izzy she's on oh she's with us it's a very small lift <laughs> I am looking forward to this. Oh yes, is that water still hot? Yes, it is. It was running hot and cold the other day. It's nice and hot today. It is loads later now. I've been packing my suitcase, as you can see. There will be a few bits and bobs to go in in the morning, like pajamas, toothbrush, and on my tech and all that will go last thing. We have to be out of our rooms by 10. And the coach transfer leaves around 12-ish. I think so we're gonna have a two-hour gap in which it's about wants to go to the local supermarket and just pick up snacks to take home in the case because we both got a bit of weight allowance left over or at least I think we have I'm gonna have to reweigh my case because I have bought a few things since I've been here we've already been down to dinner and had that I didn't film it because it's just so samey it's almost the same every time and because I'm vegetarian my options are a bit more limited while well, I'm a pescatarian actually anyway thank you so much for watching this video could you please give it a like if you liked it it really helps the channel to grow I really appreciate that if you're new here and would like to follow more if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one bye